What did you do before? You said you were driving um, kids to uh, yeah, after yeah. school program, and you were also a yeah. tutor. Did you go to Did you go to school before you decided to pursue music? Uh, no, nah, I went to this engineering program though in Philly, and uh, it was like I didn't really learn anything. I'm not gonna lie; like I wasn't interested in learning Pro Tools like that. But at least I have the experience. And um, yeah, I did that. And then, like, I just started popping off right after. So, like, everything came in clutch, like, literally clutch. Because I had, you know, like, I don't know, not that I didn't have an idea. I knew I wanted to do music, but I knew I didn't want to, like, have to stall time, you know, like, and work a job that I didn't want to work or uh, go to school for something I didn't want to go to school for. So, it came in clutch. So, you didn't have to deal with the family dynamic of wanting to quit your job or to quit school to pursue music uh well nah like the whole thing with my parents was they just wanted me to go to school like they still want me to go to school like really really bad and um like i have african parents so that's like their morals like you have to go to school (laughs) so like i have to do that like probably but um uh everything else like was pretty sweet for me like i stayed at home and um i had a job like i actually really did enjoy my last job before i started making music so i wasn't even in a rush to quit it like i was actually kind of sad quitting my job i was like wow like i make way more selling beats than i am here like why am i still here it was at that point i was just like wow i guess i gotta leave now so yeah i left in christmas last year 2019 december and i just didn't go back after like the winter break yeah. All right. Let's let's talk about um, income being a factor. Back in May. Yeah. Uh, so just a couple months after you quit your job, you you showed your beat star stats live. I think on a YouTube uh, stream. Uh huh. And you had generated nearly forty thousand in a thirty day period. Yeah. Is that pretty consistent for you? Uh now yeah. Well, it depends. Like. The number, uh, like I've I've had like some low points after that, like I and I was just experimenting stuff, so like that's what it is, like finding out what works and what doesn't work. So, um, yeah, like, but I'm I'm right back up there again now. So I know I have to do like a part two, cause like, <laughs> and talk about what I went through, cause I kind of went through it like a little bit. Like, what were some things not that like you went suffering through that you experimented like, with that? Um, I noticed some of my ads were running and like, and I'm like, yo, like these numbers are like really high. Like I'm paying a lot of money into like ads and stuff. So I just had to go back and see like what I was doing wrong. Like, because, um, yeah, like I was just trying different numbers, like putting less into beats this week, like putting more and like changing keywords. Like I've just been experimenting. So yeah, I didn't lose too much. Like I didn't go under like. 30 or anything but um yeah it was just back in between 30 to 40 